Oh, you guys know what time it is, man. We're coming to the end of the year. These games count, man. We already in playoff mode today, but we got another thing that I hope we can get. Talk about it because we kind of do need to win more than that. But at the same time, you feel me? That will put us in prime position next year, bro. We can force state turnovers regardless. So let's see what's popping, man. Game started. That was in evidence oh. a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get game. set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. This is a little running back He's deal right there. After a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Brings up second and eight. take this up near the 35 maybe the 34 so just play number three here on the opening drive and it's an early third and one try to pick it up on the ground great job d see you dupree he is enveloped behind the line no gain on the play there a nice job defensively and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They go with Jacobs. Ah, dude, I knew it was coming there too. As they get him to the ground at the 37. Uh, uh, no, no, no. the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. First down, Steelers. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Closing the hole now. Final lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and ten at the 37-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Mariota fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape? Or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Mariota from the gun on third down. The open man is Westbrook. Davis. Take this Davis. Man. Side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 10. Good for a Steeler first down. And early on, they're picking up right where they left off last week. And I know a lot of coaches say each game is its own. You don't really have carryover. This feels like carryover. So much confidence from the previous game that they're using to their advantage now. First and ten. Here's Mariota. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. That's I set you up for that. That's if you want to be X Factor, you need to get that, bro. So now be X Factor. Ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. Hey, you like big boy. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. 
Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. From the gun, Mariota. Able to find Lazard. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third this. down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Throwing Mariota. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers hey, nowadays, the Steelers, they run you. like backs, and they take a lot of Blues. pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. <laughs> Back to the running game with Jacobs. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Flush to his right. The Colts D sticking to their assignment. Hey, good job, D. As my dad used to tell me all the time when you're going ready to play a big time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting, fair strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Fifty-two to forty-five. God damn, y'all was out there. Damn that. Oh, you got to get through that hole. Right. Go. Yard line. Just a three yard gain there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right. It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage. And Just got through there, man. He has 94. So stand on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play and it's going to bring up a third down brings up third down and seven from the shotgun now here's an inside give and this is going to be a Colts first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. A gain of eight and a first down. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also moved the sticks. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Steelers three, Colts nothing. Keep, keep, keep. 
Good die. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And they run the option here on first and ten. Mayfield firing quickly. It's complete. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. Fifteen yards last play and fifteen yards here this go around. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. Oh, Albert, who are you blocking? A yard from the six to the five. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Uh, I knew it, but I was really hoping. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Oh, a lot of red zone picks. <laughs> Interceptions in that loss. Another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game. And the head coach said, "I'll take him. I'll fix him." The very next game, he started out the exact same way. And the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, "He's yours from now on. <laughs> Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled." On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive, and a short gain here as he gets it up, only to about the six. Down that first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. On third down, here's Harris. Definitely didn't think he was running the ball third and six. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. That's his. On second down now, it's Jacobs. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. I have no choice. That did not. What's gonna happen if I if I miss play? I was what? I'm gonna get fired or something? Like, come on. It was gonna happen. First down, Mariota. Oh, that's gonna be. A flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Oh. Let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. He finds an opening past the 40. That's caught. It's Malone. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Third down. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Mariota. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that will be about to say. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and breaks. Hey, I like you, Burgess. Got you Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. Oh. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. He throws his third on the 23. And they have the football, and will take over at the 24 yard line. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. The first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. They've got it first and goal at the 7. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Here's Jacobs, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Mariota. He'll buy some time right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's third down and goal from the five-yard line. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. 
They'll run with Jacobs. And he will push his way forward down to We'll take it. We get ball at half. Good stop by the D. Especially by pick, two picks today, half. Baker. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This a chip shot, a 20 yarder. Butker's kick here is good. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. Six nothing is our count at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Big half, fellas. Big half. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that, one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. running back and he'll take it ahead to the 28 yard line and it looks like a pickup of six that leaves him with seven yards to go on third down running lanes read a premium in the first half but he's able to find some room there and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half And they're going option play on third down. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done 27 yards a big play there on fourth now they've been struggling in the passing game do you like the aggressiveness there i mean it worked on that play but do you like it i do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged that usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath people start to press up on you push them deep find some space and open things up again being aggressive there i think will pay off for them They'll roll him out right. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. But we saw that he had a lot of success last week throwing the football, but that hasn't translated to this week. But with his team behind, I don't expect him to back off. I expect him to keep firing. Throwing again. Mayfield on second and ten. And Mayfield again with the interception. His third. Picked off at the 21. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the oh, third quarter. Okay. Obviously not what they all were right, striving right. to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. They'll begin on the ground. Red zone defense. There's an offense. Immediately there. Bud Dupree, a oh, first-round pick in on the stop. We talk about defenders, Horrible. specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He you think that's his doing, not my doing? And made a really nice play. Feel it. Looking to throw on second down. Mariota, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. 
Yeah, boy, it is tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Tackle made at his 48-yard line. It's a gain of a yard. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. They're indeed going. It's Mariota. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. About to say, bro. Niggas get Because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, <laughs> made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And those, those nigga had some, got some breathing room. And hell running right through. Didn't know he had so many cheerleaders. I didn't know he had so many cheerleaders. Just look at nasty. Nasty. That's a big fella. The big fella out there. Looks like someone who spent his little bit of user moves sprinkled in. Working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build Oh, we got big backs. We got big backs. Big backs. A great play there. His second touchdown. Oh, we back in it. We back in it. Uh oh, we back in it. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away and no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive and last time out went for it on fourth down turned it over gave them great field position turned it to six points so They've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do. He Get that block. Oh, come on, Moses. The block the 44, and they are going to set up sharp at the 40 the block line. Hey, it woke me up. Cheerleaders done woke me up. Cheerleaders done woke me up, man. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. There's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Gotta know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And a short game down to the 37-yard line. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. At the 24-yard line. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Quick throw, and Mayfield completes it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Six yards left on second down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be falling forward, man. The 12 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They go play action. Mayfield. And he fends him off. 
But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six set. DBs in the game. From the gun, Mayfield. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Take the three. Didn't take it last time. We already threw people. We should have another three. But we're not. We're gonna stop killing ourselves, fellas. We're gonna stop killing ourselves. So they get the three, but you want the season is gonna be enough. Excellent question because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage. But we got three people chasing him. Every time One can miss. Up, somebody's miss. there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Third down. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. <laughs> to throw is Mariota. Give me those. Fires one that's intercepted. Give me those. Oh, ankles. Stop them. Oh, he's trying to get inside that turn. As he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. Following the interception, Mayfield escaping the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down. Get away from running the ball, man. You right? Hey, Mike, you right? We submit, man. We just try to chug along, man. We won't even make playoffs, I think, if we went out. We just, just trying to be great, man, like everybody else. He's just trying to be great like everybody else. Close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers 16. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone I excited. I try to be as great as the Falcons, tell the truth. Oftentimes, the guys who can't. Falcons have been Super Bowl since the first year, but right don't now, we, we know the they're there. Run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. It's fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. The shotgun, it's Mayfield. Who knows? Don't man him up. Don't man up by you, man. try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Oh, you see the vision? Set up with a first and goal is good running. Gets him down to about the four-yard line. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, got that. work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Hit in there, Charles, a big boy. Pause. A great effort there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Colts use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. It's good, and now it's an 11 point lead, 17 to 6. Makes the score, Colts 17. Just take the ball out of Baker's hands. That's what it comes down to. Up letting him throw the thing. Give it to the big back. Taken about seven yards deep. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Going deep downfield for Ross. Oh, well, looks like we got an X factor. All I needed was three turnovers. X factor in the bag. It was a major pause, but you understand what I mean. Two scores in the fourth quarter. It maybe was understand what I mean. Time, the Holland and no credit for that. Interception there. Like game the zero tackles. Bro, hell is the door on their chances. And maybe we recognize that in process football. that it wasn't quite desperation time. So now you take the shot before they're going to lay back. Anymore. Your boy's small, too small. This is like three tackles. Too small. It didn't work. That's going to be a little up a loss of a full three yards on first down. A three yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now, this one complete downfield on the left side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 22 yards there, a first down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Flushed out right. See him? He just gets rid of see him? It away. A wise move there. Looks see him? Nobody open, now second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. A second down Ooh, cover two, huh? Looking for his running back, and he's got to do the same thing. And he's gonna lose yardage and be I didn't think he was gonna to do it two times. Bro. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The Colts on third down, just oh, okay. one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Mayfield with it once more. Going for it all. Give me those. Big boy. <laughs> Albert. Give me those. Give me those. Throw it up to it, man. That's why Baker be throwing picks, man. Because we just feel like one on one situations, we always win. What it comes down to. Got an X Factor. We got the win. We've got playoff hopes, man. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility. But where the Look cheerleaders go? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, man. A good week of practice. Me. And still like you to to the the subscribe to the channel. You feel me? I still like you. Just root for other people. Right? Appreciate your time. The Steelers are ready for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator. Give the ball to Moses. make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. 
Throwing again. Mariota on second and ten. That's complete to Lazard. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he's going to find his man out of the that backfield. Goes. That's complete. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Pittsburgh. Off the play fake, Mariota. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Oh, I was trying to get his Moses there. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering... Is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? There he goes. That's right, side. baby. It's all. Y'all having a day. Y'all having a day. Like, when he has a day, we win. But it comes When he performs well, our team performs. take advantage of the turnover to put up six. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score. Colts 31. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. Their own 25 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that. And coaches want to outside of one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now a throw from outside the pocket, complete out left. I put you over 100. Way down to the 22-yard line. We got three picks, though. play that time for Pittsburgh. 54 yards. A first down throw for Mariota. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. They lose the yardage, and of course, oh, they okay. also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Play fake, Mariota. He's going to let it fly, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off with great anticipation, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Dancing to his left. He's going to keep it again, and he'll be out of bounds. Good one rush for five yards. That was a good game. Um, Appreciate you guys for coming. I know that we had a peak of you over 10. Um, now we're at five, five loyal ones, and I appreciate you guys. We came out. We needed the win to keep our playoff hopes alive. We need the next two. So we're already in playoff mode. Um, if you guys couldn't tell already, uh, we got to win six more to the Super Bowl, man. We developed our team how we want to develop them. They are who we thought they were. Um, Steelers came out. They played really good ball today. Um, they had a really good record. We see why they had a good record. Um, it's just Indy, though. It's indie though, but um, actually, you guys want to see if I hit my X factor or not? Yeah, you guys usually seen that. Something that keeps you guys around. You guys like to.
hit me. But I already know I hit the X Factor. This together, I was already. I don't need to see. Browns next week, man. Browns is a good one, man. Browns is a good one. Let's see. Breakout player. Let's see. No coach football. Simple. You, it is. Football is simpler. I, I, I need to take a picture with him. He deserves it. The guy that he's been in the system for a long time. Been in the system for a very long time. I appreciate his sacrifice. I appreciate his service to the team. And I, uh, oh, oh, here, let me, what do you mean? I appreciate his sacrifice. I appreciate everything he's done for the team. He's been great for us. Um, first time I've ever seen Trey X Factor, though. Letting you guys know. Uh, Indy's still doing top notch things. Uh, might not have the record that everybody wants, but we're doing top notch things, man. Peace. We out. Like, subscribe. You